Remember how easy it was to learn your ABCs? Thank the Mickey Mutineers. They invented them. There are thousands of Disney podcasts on the internet, and this is one of them. I'm Jake. I'm Josh. I'm Jordan. And you're listening to... Yeah, Mickey Mutineers! And Ryan. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Jordan, do that again. Oh, no way! <laughs> I'm going. Wait, I want to play it with Blake. Do it to me, do it to me! Whoa! <laughs> I didn't know I had that kind of power. Well, you had the power of the phoenix in the palm of your hand. I do. And you know what else? Oh, shoot. Wait, hold on. Tonight, there's a whole <laughs> intro. We are celebrating Magic Kingdom's opening day, which is next week. Well, like next week, a couple of years ago. By finally coming back to the good old classic rank shit and ranking the opening day Magic Kingdom attractions. Mm, I hope the pack mules win. <laughs> Everyone should know that when you offered me to, or I think you found it demanded, but when you demanded that I be on the show tonight uh, to cover this, I did read the fine print because I was like, we've ranked opening day rides before. And if they're trying to sucker me into doing pack meals again, I'm not doing it. And I read that list twice and made sure pack meals was not on there. Uh, well, first of all, how did you think I knew exactly how long it had been since we did rank shit? because <laughs> that was the last time we did it <laughs> yeah i do recall that and first of all uh, second of all ryan us asking if you're going to participate do, do you not know like you you're you're a member now now hold on because <laughs> i don't remember seeing a crinkled up uh flat stanley of me at the beginning of the uh call sheet <laughs> i do think you should have like a fake or not a fake one but like a secondary intro for whenever I am on it and it's just like me at the bottom of like and I'm right like just like one fifth the size of you guys. Well it'll be like the whole the musical stop and it'll be hi I'm Ryan but like in that Mac PC from the eighties voice. I I'm Oh you want me to just unlong it? Uh it was from the two thousands, but okay. <laughs> no, you said Mac commercial and I was like, oh yeah just unlong. When was Justin Long in the Mac commercials? Wait, do you not remember that? Were you serious? Uh, yeah, it was like, it's a big thing. It was like he was the Mac, and uh, what's his face? Uh, John Hodgson was. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Those commercials. Yeah. No, I'm talking about like the actual computer voice, like Mr. Macintosh from Blink Check. Oh, great reference. <laughs> Which is weird. Like earlier today, I referenced Rookie of the Year, so I don't know what's happening today. But I'm talking about just voice. stuck in a loop. Yeah. You're, like, remember childhood? You're yeah, yeah, currently in the 90, in 95, I think 96. Maybe earlier than that. Blank check? Maybe, maybe it was around then. Blank check was, Hold early, on. was there, uh, early to mid 90s. Hi, that okay. would have been, that would have been blank check. I'm thinking 94. <laughs> Does Brian <laughs> have the DVD? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I was going to say, I don't know who Kitschy Bun is, but I see it's Jillian. Uh, Hi, Jillian. Oh. Hi, Jillian. Uh, she said, hello, Mald. Jord Jord Jordan, you pronounce that. And Jordanatha? Jordanatha. <laughs> and Jerk. Nasty. <laughs> it's Jork. I immediately saw that in you. It's Jork. How to spell it. Uh, I do not have the DVD. I thought I did. I have the DVD of Break. That must have been my... Ooh, that's a good one, too, though. But that would have that been 98, 99. It would have been 98. Yeah, yeah, some of that, like on the birch. So. That was the so the reason I know that is because that was the year I moved up to Georgia, and when I moved up to Georgia, the Disney Channel was part of like just a cable package. In Louisiana, it was a an extra paid for channel. So, mm. <laughs> uh, blank uh, check. Right, so, oh my god, I was just gonna play that game with you. I just didn't know you looked it up. Sorry. Um, I was laughing at Jillian. Oh, my ears. I guess you're right. Jillian said, whoops, my uh, son's name is also Jork. Uh, 
Jork, talk to me through Thursday. the decision of Jork. Uh, I think it's pronounced York. No, it's G O. I don't see the mm. it, it, it's, it's an old. It's an older reference, sir. You, you, don't, so. you don't need an umlaut to make the J sound like a Y. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's yeah. Coach. You do? It's Coach no, Z. No, you didn't. <laughs> from you like, oh, I just fucking threw shit on the wall. It's like, yeah, you do, actually. <laughs> Which is sad because I believed you. I was like, oh, shit. Yeah. Coach Z was ahead of his time. There you oh, go. And I thought you were know. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. My, not much. Did, uh, have I told you, Jake, that uh, I created Homestar Rainer? Did you really? Uh, a guy named Ryan Sterrett. Do the voice. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> Wait, know, I used to say... The guy's last name actually Sterrett? Yeah, spelled nice. the same way. Nice. Wait, so if I Google um, Ryan Sterrett right now... Right, he's... like Because the dudes are... I mean, they've been Marietta. Are they really? used to? The, yeah, like... Uh, they were. I wonder if this is how I find out that I'm Doctor Jekyll and Mister Hyde. Because <laughs> doesn't that sound like alter ego me? As I created Home <laughs> Yeah, but like, why would you? Why would you be Ryan Starrett and Ryan Starrett? <laughs> I mean, is there a better crime that you could think of? I just, I feel like if you were to commit a crime, then using your actual name. While tr- uh, in the guise of your alias is counterproductive, <laughs> I think that the real crime here is that I would rob myself of the clear riches of whoever created Home Star Runner in the year 2024. So, why'd you do it? I will tell you, uh, I say Del Taco all the time instead of deleted. <laughs> deleted, Del Teated, Del Taco. It was valided. Valided. It, it is a massive never ending soda. No, I don't know that one. Soda. He's pouring soda and he's like, wow, this soda is like never ending. He's like, never ending soda. <laughs> I don't know. I still, I still sing the, uh, the techno song to myself a lot. <laughs> the, the system is that. The system. <laughs> <That's all. laughs> for me, it's come on for Cougar Guats. Oh, I was, I, was singing, I was singing that one the other day for no reason. I was like, "Why the fuck am I saying?" I was, I was cooking, and I was starting to sing that. I was like, oh, "Cougar right. Glots, come on for Cougar Glots!" <laughs> Everybody to the limit. The cheat is to the limit. Team Girl, Girl Squad was a big thing of mine. I mean, everyone knows. Yeah, Trump. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Burninating the countryside. <laughs> In fact, Jillian made a Team Girl Squad on reference on Facebook like a couple weeks ago. I had to jump in. Nobody else is jumping in. The actual one. Why was it so good? Like everything about it was so good. And to tie this back into, you know, there's a Disney podcast. There, there is the one strong bad email where they do the Jungle Cruise thing. And it's glorious. Oh, yeah. They just announced, uh, I don't know if this is part of your news you were going to cover, Jake, but they, uh, did you see they just announced something for Disney World today? No. Uh, Jungle Ghouls. What? Yeah. So I guess during the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, uh, they'll have Jungle Ghouls, which let's be honest, is I don't think they change anything physically. I think it's just the jokes they make. Why wouldn't they call it Jungle Cruise? I'm going to be honest with you, uh, Jordan. I think it is. Uh, I think I was just trying to figure out where they put ghouls in there. <laughs> so I think you're right. It's probably John Ghoul Cruise. I'm trying to find something. What? So this was announced today? If you can't find it, then uh, you should see the look on your face. Ashton Kutcher, here, 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 here. Cameras, here, here. <laughs> Wait. Um, are you lying? I'll see if I can... No, no, no. I mean, I may have drunk it, but I didn't see it. It's such a good uh, idea. John Gould Cruise. Hold on. I don't even know how to spell that. You know what's funny? This We didn't talk about this last episode because last episode just came out. Sorry, guys. And uh, <laughs> I was so embarrassed. Um, 
but the episode before we we went a lengthy amount of time on um lightning mcqueen's racing academy guess what's leaving our presence like good in racing again <laughs> yes jordan got it it just made me last because like, i kind of feel like it was our fault no i mean it was going away anyway um all right so a bit of an update here i did see i did see it was announced but it was also fake so they're just getting graphics for it and everything uh i just sent it to you guys but it is called John Bull Cruise. Nailed it, Jordan. That looks good, though. Wait, so this isn't... I mean, you can understand why I thought it was real when I was yeah. flying by it on Twitter, right? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's very well done. Uh, now we have to sit here and talk about something that's not. And now I wish that it was. Do you think they would just put up extra spider webs? They would knock down the actual... Josh just <laughs> like the image. There's something so funny about Josh not being here, but still contributing to the group chats. <laughs> He's busy, guys. Um, huh. This this just leaves me wanting. I was so excited. I mean, so it's it's one. I guess it's just a matter of changing the narration, right? Like you yeah. just change the jokes to be like more spooky themed, which maybe they already do. I, I can't think of anything right now. It just kind of puts me on. I was going to roll out some jungle cruise jokes. And I'm just like, nope. Whoa. <laughs> what? This is such a dumb idea. What if every. You came to the right place. What if every non IP attraction or like, you know, park specific IP attraction switched roles with the haunted mansion? So. It was the Haunted Jungle Cruise, the Haunted Space Mountain, the Haunted Big Thunder Mountain. But then but then the Haunted Mansion just turned into Mansion. <laughs> the Mansion. <laughs> and, it was just, and, and it's just a cruise through the bourgeoisie. <laughs> they cleaned it up? Yeah. <laughs> it is like nothing happens. You're just in a doom buggy. And you're like, uh, it's... It's a fucking kitchen. <laughs> it's well <laughs> lit. Yeah. <laughs> when you go, when you go, and you end up in the, the cemetery, it's just like crickets and birds calling. <laughs> just it's like nothing. <laughs> it, it, it's being the caretaker just humming this song. <laughs> no, not even that. Like it's no. It's as a matter of fact, it's just oddly quiet because there's no happy haunts to materialize. Is the so what's funny about that? No, hold on. It's the caretaker actually just getting his job done because he's not scared <laughs> by all the ghosts. <laughs> Madame Leona is just a fishbowl in, in like this nice parlor. Yeah. <laughs> what's funny is that you talked about taking the haunted out of the haunted mansion, and somehow I think you have made it scarier. <laughs> it's like when you pass by the the uh, the dining room. It's just a bunch of rich people eating soup. And they all look up and they're like, the fuck are these guys? Hey, we're trying to eat. <laughs> I think you're describing the Blue Bayou restaurant in Disneyland. Probably <laughs> 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 It should just be that. <laughs> I just, it's a mansion. <laughs> it's just the greatest idea. <laughs> Stretching room doesn't stretch. No, it's just it's she just like, walks through, and it definitely has windows and yeah, windows. yeah. It's like, hey, here's the other door right over here. <laughs> or the guy, the guy should be like, or there's always my way. He's like, there's a door right there. <laughs> That's the door I always take. <laughs> so for someone, because the haunted mansion is just so ingrained into you know the lore of anything Disney. Anyone who didn't know what was happening would be on edge the entire ride. And then they'd get, Oh, the funny thing about that. I actually got to experience that last year because I took, um, Jordan, uh, knows my buddy chase. Uh, I took chase and his wife, Lauren to Disney last year for Halloween horror nights. We just kind of threw Disney in there as well. Uh, and they had never been, um, before. 
So he got to experience Haunted Mansion for the first time. And you already know it was like one of the first rides that we put him on, right? Yeah. And I think it's great because that ride starts with you very much being like, oh, yeah, how did they get like the crypt or the the door on the um, the coffin to like go up and down? That's super weird. And then he sees the no one playing the piano, but the shadow shows of the guy playing piano. He's like, oh, that's that's more interesting. I didn't see that coming. And then like he gets to the ballroom scene and he sees them dancing. But then he like looks down and they're disappearing. And he's like, how did they do that? They just spend the rest of the rock just be like, how did they do this? And he got up and be like, I didn't, that was terrifying. I didn't think of that happen. That's so, amazing. It was great. And it was so cool to see him like wonder that in real time. And once we described it, it didn't stop being amazing to him. We're like, yeah, there's like a room underneath where you are in that moment that has the ghosts and they just put the image of them in that empty space, but they replicated a hundred percent, just like inverse of each other. And he's like, yeah, I mean, that makes all perfect sense, but it's still just like magic, you know? So more on that later. <laughs> no spoilies. What, what's the goal for today? Oh, right. I see what, I see, I see what's going on here. Like, I mean, I think, Hey guys, should we talk some Disney? I think it would be rude not to. Let's mention nothing about Disney the rest of the episode. You just did. Deal. Shit. Well, right. If Josh does hop on, let's tell him we already did the list. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But then do we do it again for his sake? We ask for his list and then we tell him what we would have done instead. <laughs> I like it. Let's do I will say, I don't know if this is necessary. I'm jumping the shark here, but the uh, list that you sent over, I'm kind of surprised and impressed that they were able to open with like 20 plus attractions. I got 19. 19, 18 plus attractions. <laughs> <laughs> I was impressed too. And they're like way better attra- attractions than Disneyland's opening day, except for that one. Yeah. Definitely. I mean, so uh, there's a couple where I wasn't sure if like it was technically considered because it's kind of a show, right? Yeah. And goes without saying, because we are like, what, 50th-ish anniversary? When is that? Uh, 53rd? Mm-hmm. 53rd anniversary. I don't know a number of them. I've never heard of a number of them. So guess what's at the bottom of my list? But um, <laughs> yeah, there's a few on there. I'm like, eh. Still very cool. So like, I, I think now I'm thinking of like... um Whenever Universal opens a park, it's usually like, yeah, here's our like five rides, right? Yeah. So to see them open 19 rides back then on opening day was pretty damn cool. Well, even like Hollywood Studios, when that opened, it was like two, three rides? Yeah, and when it opened today, it was like four. So they've like 25% more rides. Yep. (laughs) That's, That's a hell of a rate. And shows. By the way, Fun joke that uh, I told earlier today that I thought both of you would appreciate. There's a PlayStation State of Play uh, announced for tomorrow. And my buddy was like, what on earth are they going to announce? And I was like, they're probably going to show footage of Indiana Jones. Um, And I don't know if that joke lands, but that was originally slated to be an Xbox exclusive. And then at the Game Awards this year, they announced that it's actually coming to PlayStation and will not be a game uh, or an Xbox exclusive. But isn't it, it, it's first to Xbox though, isn't it? It's first to Xbox, it's this December, and then yeah. spring it's going to play. <laughs> okay. So for two or three months? <laughs> yeah, for like three months, which, I mean, cool. I'm still playing it on play, or on games, or, sorry, Games Pass on Xbox, no question, because I got to play that game opening day. Um, but if I don't have an Xbox, I'm not going to be sweating about it. I'm just going to be waiting three months playing on PlayStation. I didn't know there was an Indiana Jones game coming. I have, I have. Did you not? Conflicting feelings about this game. I think that the right team is doing it. Um, I think that making a game like this would be weird if it wasn't the team behind it doing it. Um, Jake, for reference, it's Bethesda and Machine Head Studios, uh, who previously, previously did like Wolfenstein, uh, Fallout, Skyrim. Uh, Machine Head is a little bit more specifically uh, Wolfenstein, but yeah. uh, still very much Bethesda is involved, and they did all of those Skyrim and whatnot Fallout. So that's not that's not my hangup. What's your hangup? It's first person. Oh, I knew it. Yeah. I knew that was going to be his hangup. 
Yeah. Like I already, I already know I'm playing Indiana Jones. Why not give me Indiana Jones that I his hat would get in the way. Hear me out though, Jordan. The first time that a Nazi says something like, uh, historically, that doesn't make sense. You're telling me you're not going to enjoy like getting a whip out and just like, whoosh. I mean, yeah, I mean, my, my, <laughs> listen, my, my love of Indiana Jones will more than likely supersede my dislike of first person view first games. Person. Sure. So we'll see, but I'm not, uh, I, I don't know. Like, I'm not going to, I'll, I'll wait till it's probably like 30 bucks and then get it. Well, I mean, so you don't have an Xbox, right? No. Yeah. So for me, the appeal is that I'm already paying for Games Pass, so I'm going to get it for free at that point or mm-hmm. no additional cost. Mm-hmm. Um, with PlayStation, yeah, you're right. It's just going to be like a full $60, $70 game when it comes out. So um, I've got a lot of stuff. I mean, I'm looking at it anyway. So because, uh, yeah, you know, it comes out tomorrow. I mean, Wednesday. Uh, I take Mickey. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, the uh, the rebrush. And uh I I still have my copy for the Wii. So do I, but I don't have a Wii, so <laughs> are you gonna play the Wii version on that day? No. Him. No, the guy who has it. <laughs> it's not me. <laughs> no, I'm I I, I, I almost bought it. Switch because I was like, oh, well, it was a Nintendo title. I will, I'm going to get it for the Switch because the technically the Joy Cons are the or the Wii remotes. Yeah. Uh, but then I saw that it was going to all the platforms and I was like, oh, well, I'm just going to get it on the PlayStation. Yeah, I'll probably do the same. Not a huge pay difference, right? Not the same cost. Yeah, it's it's the same cost. It's not, I think it's a $60 game. Yeah, because I feel like with a rebrush, you're probably focusing more on the graphics and the playability than like the ability to play it mobile, right? But from what I understand, THQ uh, or Nordic THQ like rebuilt the game from from the ground up. So it's oh, really yeah. Well, so, because if you you know that's the weird. first one, yeah. Well, I think they kind of had to because that that first one was a Wii exclusive. Um, and it was based on the Wii remote controls. So right. it, like in the DNA, it was, you're using the motion controls and not a, can like not a traditional controller. So I think that, you know, they had to go back and, and rebuild it from the ground up in order to have it on the modern systems that use those traditional controllers. Yeah. Well, you, I, you just answered my question, which was, what are they going to do about the motion controls? So is it just aim and shoot? I think that for the Switch version, there's probably going to be an either or. Yes, yes. Um, but for the for the other two systems, I think it's going to be just legit, legit gameplay. <laughs> Shit. I'm, I'm fine with that either way. That sounds amazing. I love that game so much, and I never beat it. So it it was really good. My only my only critique of that game was I didn't care for the fact that they they I feel like they neglected to utilize voice acting for that first game uh-huh. because there's there's voice acting but it's only like whenever you know expressions like ah uh, you know stuff like that uh-huh. So Frank Frank Welker doing the voice of, of Oswald the Lucky Rabbit going, eh? Like, just, like, just, wait, was it really Frank Welker? It was Frank Welker. Because nice. the second one, in the second one, they decided to do uh, voice uh, voice acting. They decided to do dialogue. Weird, oh. because Oswald never had a voice. <laughs> hey, that, he, does, he does in the second one. I mean, like in the original cartoons, because they were, you know, silent film era cartoons. Yep. <laughs> so, anything could have been his voice. He could have sounded like Homestar Ringer. <laughs> <laughs> Wait until you play it, too. <laughs> hey, Mickey. There was nothing. Hey, Mickey. <laughs> um, that was a long time. Yeah, I, I, I wasn't sure. Orange title for the Wii U. Oh, well, it was. It was. Yeah. Because that was, yeah, it was the first game I got. 
And it launched like that. Yeah, it wasn't as good. It wasn't as good as the first one. It was it was half as long, half as good. But I will say, I had I had high hopes because they started to introduce musical numbers into the second one. And there was w- there was one boss fight that was a whole musical number from one of the the Mickey shorts, and then of course like when you beat it, it you, they leave you on a a cliffhanger, and they never I guess the second one just didn't do so well that the the third one couldn't be made, which is a bummer. No, <laughs> it's a good time and a, a good year, well, a good couple years for uh, not just remasters but remakes. Uh, Silent Hill 2, I'm very excited for in a couple weeks. Yep. Um, getting that one too. Epic Mickey is one where, just like Silent Hill 2, I'm very interested because I actually never got around to playing the first Silent Hill 2 or the original Silent Hill 2. Um, so with Epic Mickey, I did play it so long ago, but so long ago that I re- don't remember it. So I'm excited for like a complete remaster of it. Or I'm actually sorry, like looking, a remake of it. Yeah, I'm looking at pictures of it right now. And I was like, oh man, I remember that. I remember that. And then this makes me want to play it again. Yeah, good. Like the the little uh, dark inky characters that you have to either save or erase. It's just kind of brutal. Remember when Disney made like good video games before they started doing like Kingdom Hearts all the time? No. Well, Epic Mickey is one of them. Oh, yeah. (laughs) And Disney's Extreme Skateboard Adventure. I, I don't imagine my surprise. I'm playing that game like this week. I got it. I found a GameCube for Taylor and I picked it up for her. She's like, I really want it. And she has played it. Um, I got it for her in June and she has played it once. And <laughs> since she's played it once, I've played it twice. And uh, playing it is so much fun because you are skateboarding on a turtle shell as Simba while Basement Jacks is where you're head at is playing in the background. And that to me is just like, look, they're playing, uh, they're playing like good Charlotte. I'm like, yeah, this is all kid friendly. And then I'm just hearing the music video where there's monkeys with basement Jackson's face on them. And I had nightmares of that music video and it's playing in a Disney game. So it was it just Disney, Tony Hawk. It was Disney, Tony Hawk, but, uh, they tried to make it as like Disney as possible. It was, what was this game game called? It's called Disney's Extreme Skateboarding Adventure. Rolls off the tongue. <laughs> oh my gosh. But he would like skateboard to like sell out by Real Big Fish. So, so it very much felt like Tony Hawk, but you'd be like Pumba and just like skateboard going, wow. <laughs> There's a screenshot of Woody on a, on a Hot Wheels track riding a Hot Wheels car like a skateboard. I just remember like sitting down and I was very happy with myself. Like I went out and I did this. Like I, I found a GameCube for Taylor and I found this game that was like ancient and she's able to play it. And it's just super cool. And while I'm like feeling proud of myself, I just hear like, I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> are you still playing the Disney game? That was uh that was multi-platform came out on the PS2 and the Xbox. That's true. It wasn't just on GameCube. Um, but I only found a GameCube copy, so that I then had to buy a GameCube. I was about to say, like it uh, seems like the GameCube copy is maybe the hardest one to find. Yeah, we can just skip past that. So, you know, talk about how expensive that one. Well, it's. I mean, it, it makes sense because there's a lot of other stuff that I sold on. Uh, whenever I sold my GameCube, I sold off a whole bunch of stuff. I got top dollar for a whole bunch of Mega Man games that were on the GameCube, but these were all games that were still readily available that you could buy brand new copies of for the PlayStation 2. Yeah. And I sold my, uh, my, uh, whatchamacallit, my, my GameCube and my games, and I made a lot of money off of that shit. <laughs> so much so that I repurchased everything for the PlayStation 2, and I still had <laughs> money left over. But did you get yeah, Disney's uh, Extreme Skate Adventure? I didn't. I kind of wish I would have known about this game when it was available. You know how you, in Tony Hawk, you have to collect the S-K-A-T-E? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, in the Disney Skate uh, Extreme Skate Adventure, 
you have to go to McDonald's and then you deliver orders to people on the map. Are you being serious? I'm being so serious. So they just again use- while where's your well that's playing in the background. <laughs> Wait, so they just oh my gosh, I just found a screenshot of the McDonald's. They just mix some a little bit of crazy taxi into it. Yeah, exactly. Black puddle. Which <laughs> final thing? I promise we'll get to Disney here. Or I guess we've been talking Disney, but we've been we'll get to it really well actually. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get into this here in a second. I was driving my uh, friends to the airport a couple months ago, and uh, I got in the car to drive home. I, again, I'm in their car because I need to take their car seat. Their uh, one year old was with them. And on the way home, I was like, I don't get to drive people's cars very often, but I'm a very sp- safe driver, so I'm good. But I turned on the radio because usually I listen to my Spotify, they didn't have Bluetooth. I turn on the radio. I'm not joking. Somehow, 99X was playing All I Want by The Offspring. And I was... I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I was just afraid that some guys would be like, radical in the background. And like I'm just like pulling in front of pri- uh, priests, doing front flips into the car. <laughs> I told somebody... I-, I texted my buddy afterwards. I was like, hey, All I Want by The Offspring came on. So uh, bad news, your car is wrecked. Good news, I got S-rank. <laughs> <laughs> I made so much money. I love how that game, like the soundtrack was two offspring songs and two bad religion songs. Just on yeah. repeat. And uh to this day, I'm still not entirely sure what Dexter is screaming in All I Want. Because I thought the song was called Son of War for the longest time. Because it's yeah, just Son of that's War, that's but it's yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But then it sounds like he's talking about listening to 99X. And I'm like, I don't think he's saying that. <laughs> That's what you were doing. That's what I was doing. Right. But ever since I was a kid, I heard like 99X, whatever it is. I don't know. But I learned all I want. And then from there, I was like, okay, cool. Nothing I know is true. So I'm just going to assume it's all wrong. I mean, offspring songs are very hard to comprehend. And then when you do, I'm going to say most of them, when you find out what the lyrics actually are, you're like, wow, this is dumb as shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's stupider than what I thought. <laughs> yeah. And then they come out with the kids aren't all right, which is like an amazing song. You're like, who the hell wrote this one? Where were you on the other ones? Anyway, I'm they had some play. bangers. Yeah. No, I, I really like offspring, but also I can't explain it, but the offspring feels like, um, how do I put this? The offspring are to Weezer as Mario is to Wario. Wait, is I am like, <laughs> Sorry, Weezer is Mario and oh, Offspring yeah. is Wario. Yeah, no, I, I can see that. Because you listen to Weezer and like, okay, you guys don't like bathe, but then you listen to Offspring and you're like, oh, so your hair is like up all this time. <laughs> <laughs> Let's, I mean, musically, you what say what you will. I know there's one person in chat who's going to wake up like in the middle of the night, just eyes on be like, God damn it. <laughs> Yeah, Spring is Weezer Warrior. <laughs> but like, my least favorite concert I've ever been to was Weezer. I get that. And I love the, Weezer, and I get. And that. one of the best concerts I've ever seen was Offspring. So it, it's that's fair. It's across the board. I love Weezer because it just sounds like four nerds just like singing about girls and how they don't have them. And I'm like, yeah, oh. and that's what the concert was. And then like, really, that, that that's on me. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting. Like, obviously, Weezer's not going to rock out and ro- just blow your socks off. Hey, you know what? It's funny. I feel like they did. Like, in the times that I've seen Weezer, they did, like, rock very hard. But it's also just, like, they didn't, like, melt anyone's face off. It's just... Yeah. Like, it's not like a Foo Fighters concert, right? I, I don't know. I've never seen a Foo Fighters concert. I think it's exactly what you think it is. Where you're just like the whole time, just yeah, just blown away the whole time. I could see that, yeah. Hey, real quick, speaking, speaking of music and Disney, I'm gonna bring this around real fast. Did anyone listen to the whole new sound album? No, 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 zero interest. There are like three really good songs on the <laughs> like, like all of those bands that are on that album are bands that I like actively avoided listening to. 
Oh, geez. A lot of I'm those not, bands I actively listen to. No, I'm not a pop punk guy. Oh. By any, like, I, all my buddies were doing, like, one, I think I was just a little too old for the pop punk crowd at that point, but I, all my friends, Jordan. what's that? So it's not a phase, Jordan. You're never too old. <laughs> Is it? Um, <laughs> and I, yeah, just a lot, a lot of those bands, I just, I weren't really my thing. Like when all those bands were super popular, I was listening to other stuff and yeah, I'm not here to yuck anybody's yums, but I just, I was I, all my yums. <laughs> Because I was, I was hoping though that like whenever it was announced that it was actually going to be like punk bands, not pop punk bands. And I yeah. really, I was kind of upset that it was pop punk bands. I'll give you this, Jordan. I I do like pop punk. I like pop punk, but I don't like telling people that I like pop punk because when I do, this is the kind of stuff where everyone's like, "Oh, so you like this?" I'm like, "Wait, like, see, th- but like this album is my line. Like, I I really liked New Sound Glory." Always, I but, love Newfound Glory, but Simple Plan and like Yellow Card, I'm like, no, what? No. Well, <laughs> so here's the thing: I'm looking at the track list right now, right, and I'm telling you that this album, these artists, this track list is a great album in 2012. Yeah, like <laughs> that's in 2012. This is a banger track list, but. Meet me at the altar, bowling for soup, playing white tees, simple plan, Mayday Parade. I don't know who Magnolia Park is, but outside of them in Lolo or Lalo or whatever, uh, the rest of this is just straight up 2012. Yeah, well, and I think that that was on purpose because like it's riding the coattails of all these, you know, festivals coming out, Warped Tour is coming out next year, you know, all these when we're young in two weeks. Yes, three. And I, and I remember when Warped Tour was actually punk bands. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> That's when Man. I stopped going because I'm trying to make pop punk bands like Simple Plan. <laughs> yeah, Newfound Glory, never got into them. Simple Plan, never got into them. Yellow Card, definitely didn't like Yellow Card. So I didn't like Yellow Card, but live, they're amazing. Yeah, they're yeah. really good live. Um, they're still good live. I you know, I think, that, like I think Plain White Tees, to their credit, I think they have a couple catchy songs. Um, it, <laughs> Bowling Not for one Soup. of them is Hey There, Delilah. Right. Um, Bowling for Soup, I got to give credit to just because they did the Phineas and Ferb soundtrack. Yeah, and they're so, already on Disney's payroll. So, so yeah. Anyway, what I want to They definitely nudged him awake, right? <laughs> just like, hey, do from like me. He's like, oh, okay. What was the song they did? What, 1984? And then there was yeah. a song, the song before that, that was their breakout song. Uh, Girl, all the bad guys. Won. Yeah. Wait, was that them? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And 1984 wasn't even their song. No, it was. I mean, they played it, but originally it was SR-71, I think. Oh, you're saying it was written for someone else. Yeah. Or no, SR-71 did it. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. that. I thought, uh, what was this? What was the SR 71 hit? Uh, oh. Right now. Yeah, right now. Which I really like that song that I list, my friend bought their album and the rest of the album sucked. <laughs> it was so bad. <laughs> it was like, oh, shit. Oh. Okay, let's see. No, not SR 71 Blackbird. 1985. Damn it. Okay, yeah. So it was written and recorded by SR-71 and then Bowling for Soup uh, covered it. Like, oh, I, yeah, all right. Damn, you know how pissed I would be if Bowling for Soup came out, covered my song, and then it became their single? And they sound almost exactly the same. Like, bands used to do that a lot, like in the late 50s, early 60s. Uh-huh. Yeah, like a song would come out and then a band would be like, it's a good song, let's cover it, and then they would get popular doing that, and like, and the, but the original band's like, we just fucking released that two months ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, look, I, I give them credit for trying to do something uh, that hasn't been done before with like a pop punk album. Uh, I just, again, I think that you could have picked bands who are currently doing some great work with pop punk now. Yeah, and not like the this is like us making a crooning album in 1980 and bringing out the carcass of the rap band. 
like <laughs> so Sinatra's duets album. Yeah, yeah, he's exa- exactly that. But he funded by with Jimmy Buffett. <laughs> Oh my God, that's going to be our civil war in the JBCU. <laughs> I don't remember this song right now. May- God, I think you do know it if you, it's like, wow, 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 as a guitarist, I'm a lot better just singing the guitar part. I appreciate that because in a band and being in bands most of my life, everyone just as the drummer is always like, you know, give me some of like the just I'm guilty of that. Give me a boot tap tap tat. I'm like, you want a triplet? Like a ba 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 big I don't know what it's called, but a Nope. Like this, and then they just do that, but like with four other drums. I'm somewhere between. I won't. I I don't want to like credit anyone and make them think that they did good work by playing what they told me to in like buka buka rhythms. But also at the same time, they're like, "Well, do like a paradiddle into it." I'm like, "Nope, never mind. <laughs> Meet me halfway. Let me play what you want me to play." <laughs> right. But yeah, anyways, I'm sorry. List. All right, should we get into this main topic real fast? Sure. So how do you want to do this? Do you want to just like say our like top nine or 19 and go down or what do you think? Well, normally what we do for rank shit is we just start at the bottom and we have to agree on each one and then just cross it off the list. Got it. And the funsies. May I start with number 19? Yeah. So we start with 19 and we move to one. And usually what happens is one will be forgotten about. And then it gets way higher than it should ever be. I love the pack mules. <laughs> well, mm, I think I know what number 19 should be. It's between one or two of them. So I want you guys to tell me where you're at. All right. So real quick for the listeners, should I just go down the list of the 19 attractions really fast? Listen. Yes. Out. Here's the 19 Magic Kingdom opening day attractions. So number one, Haunted Mansion. I'm not going to number them. Country Bear Jamboree, Diamond Horseshoe Review, that's a stretch, Dumbo the Flying Elephant, Frontierland Shooting Gallery, Hall of Presidents, Cinderella's Golden Carousel, It's a Small World, Jungle Cruise, Mad Tea Party, Mickey Mouse Review, The Mike Fink Keelboats, Mr. Toad's Wild Ride, The Skyway, Snow White Scary Adventures, Swiss Family Treehouse, Tropical Serenade, Grand Prix Raceway, such a cool name, and the Walt Disney World Railroad. Those are the 19 attractions. All right, now here's the thing, guys. I have a document. Hey, is this going to roll circles and you have it behind us? (laughs) Uh, I'm not that fancy. Should we just play Family Feud style? We're like, we'll say it. And we're like, that's not what the survey said. Show me Hall presents. <laughs> Show me potato salad. Make <laughs> <Nick> your <or> grandma. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can I do circles now? Hold on. Now I'm just playing with things. <laughs> hey, how's that? Is that good? That was hey, pretty good. Yeah, that sounds like a podcast. Yeah. I really listen to this. It's like, I bet it looks pretty cool. <laughs> Imagine us, but in circles. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right, so here's our list. Let's. Uh, can you guys see the fonts? I can make it bigger. Yeah, do whatever yeah, I yeah. want. Yeah, I can see it. I can see it. Oh, okay. I made them all bigger except for that. So, all right, so Ryan, pitch pitch your nineteen. What what do you got? So I'm between two, and I think I'm actually not. I think I'm more leaning towards another. Um, I was thinking the Skyway because let's be honest, the Skyway is the means of transportation. And not like a railroad, so I wouldn't even consider it a ride. However, you going down that list made me think of one other thing that is absolutely not a ride, and it's the shooting gallery. That's not a ride. <laughs> I want these are an opening day attraction. I don't care. I walk past that thing every time, and it it's sounds like it's been updated since then. Someone hits something, I hear like booking. So I think it's the same thing <laughs> as when it opened fifty three years ago. So my vote is the the Frontier Shooting Gallery. That's ridiculous. That's even on the list. (laughs) 
Now, you're almost right. No, we're not pack muling this. I swear to God, if shooting gallery gets to three, I'm calling. I'm calling Morgan, and I'm not going to let him hear the end of this because <laughs> this is his fault. <laughs> Why would it be his fault? This is pack mules all over again. Pack mules a la carte. I don't know. I mean, I think I think you're right that uh, that the Skyway is just a mode of transportation. Hey, <laughs> Josh is here. Also, Maybe. hold on. Go, go, go back. What did Taylor say? Hold on. <laughs> oh, she said she's already picked her. Easy. Yeah, no, number one's done. Yeah, yeah, we know what number one is. Yeah, we are. We are. We all know what the number one. Because if it's not that, then we don't deserve to have this podcast. So go ahead and put Dumbo at number one. Yeah. Well, I was gonna say Small World. Oh, I was gonna say Haunted Mansion. How <laughs> oh, short are you gonna say? <laughs> 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 it's too much for me. It's too much pressure for us. <laughs> all right. No, all right. I, I, so I'm, I'm almost, almost there. So tell me. Tell me where I'm wrong. I just like the shooting gallery more than the Grand Prix Raceway. That's all. But at, at its core, the raceway is an attraction, it's a ride. Mm-hmm. Like the shooting gallery, have you waited in a line to do the shooting gallery? No, it's a walk on every time. <laughs> It's not a walk on. It's a walk up. <laughs> you're not walking on anything. You're walking up to walking on up. So you're what you're saying is it's I would sooner put the churro cart ahead of the shooting gallery as an opening day attraction. Okay. <laughs> I will give it to you. <laughs> put churro cart or put put shooting gallery. <laughs> And then your own cart. I won't give it to you. <laughs> Beautiful. No, no. As I'm in, silent for the rest of the list. As if, as if we couldn't just hit enter on the goddamn document <laughs> to add something. <laughs> that was so subtle, and I'm glad uh, everybody saw it. Why? <laughs> God damn. <laughs> All right, so these, good. these 20 opening day attractions. <laughs> I don't even know right, what's so, the true card. <laughs> so hear me out, Jordan. Or not hear me out, Jordan. Uh, I think I'm with you. Skyway, I wouldn't even really think of it as, I guess back then it was a big deal. But now we've just seen it done a thousand times. Right. So well, I mean, yeah, it's, I don't know. I, I, I'm torn on the Skyway because I... I would prefer to take do the Skyway than go on Hall of Presidents. Sure. Um, but we kind of got the return of the Skyway with the Skyliner. Correct. Love which was more helpful because it transported you from place to place rather yeah. than like end of park to end of park. Yeah, but that's, I mean, that's still from place to place. Well, they're both the places. Yes, but I'm saying like from like one park to another park, not just in park. I don't know. Land. Like tight on the land that these lands also touched. Uh, <laughs> but, you know what the Grand Prix Raceway didn't do is take you from one place to another place. I will give you that it's probably the same gasoline now that they used back then. So I'm very happy to put uh, Speedway low on the list. Okay. All right. Well, then let's do let's do Speedway for 18. Okay. Uh. Josh is here. His microphone is on mute, and I don't know if, like, Josh, your microphone is on mute. Oh, my God. He's at three frames per second. Oh, he's on hell's and rain. I I was eating and signing into the internet. Oh, okay. Like, I I, I was just hoping that you hadn't been there talking the whole time. Oh, no, I've been chewing, so I'm going to put you back on mute. I'm yelling, shooting gallery the whole time. (laughs) Yeah, I mean, I don't understand why that's not number one. (laughs) <laughs> well, oh, I got you. Was. Reversed. Number one is the best, not the worst. Yeah, I I know. <laughs> but sure, all cards nineteen. Yeah, how did this shooting gal? <laughs> Had you not been shooting, I love how you you caught yourself on it. You're like, oh, I know how. Yeah, no, I, I'm putting myself <laughs> back on mute for a sec so I can finish eating. Sun <laughs> Suddenly, uh, it all made sense. What? 
I feel like the next thing I would put on there would be these heel boats. I see. I'm with you, dude. Who's Mike Fake? Or I Mike Heel? Yeah, are they Mike aren't they the kill boats? <laughs> no, keel. Drink no, those no, back no, for Halloween. They're, they're kill boats. It capsized. I guess the Benny how fast you pilot it. No, they, they did have a reputation of tipping over with people in them. What's tropical I mean, serenade? Tropical serenade. If it's called Mike Feet Kill Boats, it's my top five. Yeah, it's, it's Kill Boats. Oh, 17. Yeah, it's Mike Fink kills boats. Wait, uh, is that, that is the wait the tropical serenade was is that just the original name for the enchanted tiki room? Yes, it's oh, the okay. same thing. Yeah, it is same thing, different name. Okay. Um, is, it, is it called tropical serenade again, or is it still tiki room? I think it's the tiki room. Okay, because I mean, it's called the enchanted tiki bird starring in the tropical serenade, and then later they changed it to the enchanted tiki. Room. That is such a long title. That's not. First of all, 10 points for Ryan for knowing the title. I am looking at the, the link. Oh. <clears throat> I, I, I look at it once. I'm going from memory for the rest of this show. I got you, dog. <laughs> what about, I don't know. I think the horseshoe review is probably down there. Yeah, I don't give a shit on the horseshoe review. Yeah. I think my corn dogs. Yeah. Ryan, horseshoe review. It's strange how many shows. That, yeah, horseshoe review. Or horseshoe review. More shit review. <laughs> yeah. It yeah. would bump it up to 10. <laughs> Wait, that, that makes it better? People go to Dollywood for less. <laughs> Can you go to Dollywood? I did for less. <laughs> Jordan just wanted to use corn dog in peace. They were out of apple they cider did. when Jordan went. Uh, they were out of apple cider and they were out of... Um, uh, I didn't get a chance to do the cinnamon bread. Oh, yeah, I, really want, I really want. I forgot that they were out of apple cider. I, man. No, that was the I'll apple cider this year. I'll bring you some. That, was, that wasn't that was Dollywood. That was the apple barn. Uh, the apple barn was at Dollywood, wasn't it? No, no. Two, two completely different ends of the city. Oh, but same trip. Yes. I just remember I named well, the house after that. Uh, let, let's talk turkey here. Are we grading this list on a curve in 2024? Or are we saying like for its time back then? Oh, no. It's this list as we think of it on September 23rd, 2024. How come? Oh, well, then uh, easily put up the treehouse. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, no, no, no. Treehouse is way better than Hall of Presidents. <laughs> no. Because one's air conditioned. <laughs> Mm, correct. Hold on. Hold on. Treehouse is air conditioned if you jump over the edge. Hold on. I I might actually be with Josh on this one. Okay. I I one, one of them if we were one of them has time. one of them has Donald Trump in it, and the other one is the treehouse. So, man, <laughs> it's hard to argue. Donald twenty twenty four. Nice. <laughs> This guy, all right, right, so yeah, Donald, all the presidents at 15. Donald Trump wearing a Hillary mask. <laughs> yes. Well, in a Hillary skin. <laughs> you know. Okay, right. then treehouse. Then the treehouse. Did we put the, we did put the Grand Prix ra- Raceway, all right. Yeah, we you did. Need, you need to call it by its proper name. It's the Swiss Family Robinson treehouse. The Simpsons Treehouse of Horrors, here I am. It's perfect. Oh, Thank man. <laughs> oh, um, wait, right. Ryan, Ryan, that's a good idea. <laughs> I mean, well, it's all Disney now. Yeah, overlay that shit. King and Kodas well, just throw you out of the tree at the top. <laughs> Does uh, Universal Orlando have <clears throat> Simpsons rights? They do, but also they have Marvel rides, and look how that's working out. So I mean, rights like oh, so Disney can't. Oh, rights, yeah, but then I think they do. So it's not like, do they have Family Guy rights? Yeah, no, we can, we're not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I think the Family Guy Treehouse of Horror is Peter trying to get in the treehouse. <laughs> Okay, so let's talk about Mickey Mouse review because from this image, this looks kind of dope. This looks like every 
like uh, Christmas house that you've passed in like yeah. December where they have like a Mickey and like Winnie the Pooh, like blow mold. Yeah. Uh, but they sing. This sounds dope. Yeah, that's not going this low. And so here's the thing. Fun fact about the Mickey Mouse review. You know the- Relocated uh, to Tokyo? And then, yeah, relocated to Tokyo, closed at Tokyo. They took the three Caballeros animatronics from the Mickey Mouse review, and that's what's in Epcot right now. Ooh, neat. Oh, neat. Oh, Dawn, they got King Louie playing the marimba. Nah, this is top five. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is a show no one, none of us have watched. It's where Phil or Magic is now. But mm. just going off of what it was, what it sounds amazing. I feel like yeah, it's a way original Chicken's... cinematic universe. I feel like I would put the railroad next. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. I'm with you on the railroad, especially the Magic Kingdom one, because there's no dinosaurs on it. And then where, what are, where are we feeling the carousel? Because I could kind of do without the carousel. I think carousel yeah. out of the top 10 is smart. It's yeah. iconic. Yeah. I think we're now in the good rides. Almost. Well, it's, it, it's, I mean, but it's nothing special. It's not like Disneyland's carousel where it's like 150 million years old. They fucking dug fossils of the horses out of the tar pit and put it on the carousels. Yeah, that's all correct. <laughs> I, think, I, I think the thing that Disney World's uh, carousel has going for it is location. I think it being right in front of the castle, it having the sword and the stone right in front of it. Like, I think that's all presented well, and that's it. I honestly thought you were going to say location, it being in Disney World. <laughs> <laughs> that too. Which you wouldn't be wrong. But it's the only carousel at Disney World, isn't it? Not for long. Yeah, just for now. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Because yeah, Disneyland's got two of them. There's also one in Disney Springs, but I, that's not what I was referring to. Yeah, yeah Animal Kingdom was getting one. It's and a much better one at that. Yes. I think Universe is getting one, too. The Animal Kingdom one, they did dig out the tar pit. <laughs> Sorry. Um, <laughs> can we all agree that Mad Tea Party should be close? Oh, wait. I would rather put Mad Tea Party below the carousel. <laughs> I, could work, I could work with that. Mm, yeah, that's a, that's a toss-up. I mean, I, it's literally a toss-up. It's the best I can to try and make everybody in there sick. That's, that's the toss-up, is what I do. I need that on the carousel. Oh, do you? You spin the horse as fast as you can and make everybody <laughs> sick? <laughs> oh, in fact, if you slap the horse while you're on it, it moves faster. <laughs> well, you got to slap the dance and call it daddy. <laughs> 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 you know it works on me so why not okay number 12 carousel or tea party no don't do that one Jordan what are you thinking I would go carousel then tea party yeah I agree I would do 12, 12 carousel 11 tea party you know also I didn't realize that the tea party at one point was not covered oh it wasn't I didn't yeah. know that well, the, no, the the thing, yeah, it's not covered it was not open just like Disneyland's is yeah I didn't realize that <laughs> News today, they were like, "Oh shit, it rains here, <laughs> and it's also got unbearable heat." It's got a cover. Of That's when you just put a large tea bag in the cup. The sun is a deadly <laughs> laser. <laughs> I I have definitely put a large tea bag in those cups. All right, um, um, there's I, the layout. I feel like this is where a good spot for the Skyway would be. Oh yeah. We don't already done the sky. Yeah, put the skyway on here. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna let that one slide by. No, no that's top. not the, gonna make it to the top five. <laughs> Come on. Um. All right. So from here, I kind of think we're just picking preferences because I mean, I mean, Dumbo. I like Dumbo. Yeah. But I mean, I've been in some of these rides. Well, yeah. You know, let's. <laughs> let me look at these rides. <clears throat> yeah, we need to just throw Dumbo on there now. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to allow Dumbo to go any higher. Yeah, that's fair. I'll tell you what we have left. We have Haunted Mansion, Country Bear Jamboree. Don't fight me on this. Uh, we have Dumbo. We have It's a Small World, Jungle Cruise, Mr. Toad's Wild Ride, Snow White's Scary Adventure, and that's it. Okay. I, I think, I think uh, number eight needs to be Small World. 
Yeah, hold on. Plus, over any of those other ones that were mentioned? Mm -hmm. Yes. Over Haunted Mansion? Excuse me, Mansion. <laughs> Josh, listen yeah. back to the episodes. It's amazing. <laughs> we fixed the Haunted Mansion. Nothing. What, last last episode that you haven't posted yet? You shut your mouth. It's posted on YouTube. <laughs> anyway, that, no, this episode. Yeah, listen back to those episodes. Yeah, anyway. Anyway, uh, what were we saying, number eight? Small world? Small world. Yes, you were combating. It's a small world. I I kind of think small world. Small world. Small world. I kind of think small world. Yeah. Okay, but like, it's fine. <laughs> it was saying if it was Disneyland small world, I'd say top five easily. That's so good. Uh, okay, that's that's fair. But Disney World small world looks like they're like we got one more ride. What should we do? Just throw it's a small world. Name. So my friend just went to Disney World for the la- first time last week. And uh, he's been to Disneyland a lot. I was I was just pointing out to him how funny the contrast between small worlds are because in Disneyland it's like we have this plaza, like the one of the greatest facades you've ever seen. You go to Magic Kingdom, it's like it's in that tent over there. <laughs> yeah. So what you're gonna want to do is you want to take a left at the carousel and keep on going until you get past Bait Peter Pan's Wild Ride, and then just hop right out. <laughs> you just walk right onto it. There's never a line. If you hit the tangled bathrooms, you've gone too far. <laughs> so, what about a uh, Snow White Scary Adventures? I would put. Oh, I don't even remember what that one's like. So, oh, you, that one has the witch putting a boulder on top of you. You die. Yeah, yeah. Will yeah. you die in that one? Yeah. Oh, well, you don't go to hell. Unlike other things that will make the top five, but you do. The very last thing is the witch putting a boulder on top of you. So three of these rides on this list, you die. So Jungle Cruise. Wait, was Jungle Cruise? In Depending place? on which Skyway you get on, it's three. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wait, was Jungle Cruise not an opening day attraction? Yes. It was. It's in there. Is it in here? Yeah. yeah. I don't see it. Uh, it yeah, has it, a number. There it is. Or, it, it, it's it's because it's number. It's number one. <laughs> no, it's not, sir. I want to put Jungle Cruise at number seven. No, fuck you. But, uh, wait, instead of Snow White? Oh, wait, were we yeah. going to put Snow White at number seven? Yes. Yeah, I would put Jungle Cruise above that. Below, I mean. Oh, uh, Chef Holly. So, okay. Jordan Snow White. Seven. Jordan. Yeah. Jordan. Well, no, I'd say Jungle Cruise seven, Snow White six. Oh, that's what I wanted to what? say. No. Yeah, I'm sorry. I meant below. No, and here's I, why. I I'm a ride. sucker for a dark ride. I fucking love dark rides. Yeah, and I know. So just give me so a dark want. ride. It's dark in one it's spot. Not. In one it's spot. Dark it's dark outside. Well. <laughs> well, guess what? Snow White is. I'm not having this argument with you. I'm right. You're wrong. Yes. No. No. You're wrong. Ryan, I wrote okay. it in ink. Better. You wrote it in ink. <laughs> <laughs> I will let you put Jungle Cruise at six and Snow White at seven. Is he, if you put seven Snow White parentheses is better than Jungle Cruise. <laughs> I agree with that. I don't know how we got into this situation. Jungle what? Cruise should be like number two. No. No, it should not. Not even all yeah. Especially Magic Kingdoms. Disneyland's maybe because they're allowed to improvise there. What? You, know, you expect Magic Kingdom to put, have a ride like that with real animals somewhere? Yes. They did an animal kingdom. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they founded an entire other kingdom just for that. So they couldn't do that. <laughs> I wish they'd just move Jungle Cruise to Animal Kingdom. That'd be awesome. Do you remember when they did on Kilimanjaro Safari, they actually made you think you were getting hunted by poachers at one point? And they had yeah. an animatronic elephant? Yeah. yeah, and they had like a bridge that like that so saved. Yeah, same. Yeah, poachers. Wait, the bridge doesn't shake anymore. No, no. there's no bridge. Oh. Wait, there's no bridge. You can just fucking hover. They rerouted that gap. <laughs> they jump it. <laughs> <laughs> Come to find out, clear the soccer. 
All right, so we're in the top five. Yeah, we're in the top five, and top ten is already. What we got left? We got Hunter Mansion, Mr. Toad's Wild Ride, Country Bears, Chop at the Skull Age. Uh, oh, you know what? Wait, we haven't done this for five. (laughs) Yeah, that's that's number five. That's number five. That's number five. I thought we already did it. It will hold on though. It does serve Dole Whips out front. It doesn't. Oh, it doesn't? No, <laughs> Disney does, but the ride doesn't. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Welcome to the ride. Hear me out. Let's go. Uh, executive with. decision here. I will allow Tea Party to move to five if we move Tropical Serenade down to 11. No. <laughs> no. It. T- is Tropical Serenade way better than the Tea Party? I did, I did Enchanted Tiki Room like three years ago, and within three minutes, Taylor and I were both like, why are we doing this? <laughs> because it's because it's so goddamn hot outside. You need the air conditioning. That, it's not better. It, you're sitting around a bunch of children, and it's humid in there, too. <laughs> Wait, are children humid? Extraordinarily, yes. <laughs> and it's also tropical. They just they just turn the AC off and they're like it's steaming. Deal with it. Well, then to my tropical abode. One one of the accountants is like, "Hey, I got a great way to save money." <laughs> that sounds awesome. ever being tropical for you. Um. Okay. So then for I'm going to say Country Bear Jamboree. Yeah, absolutely. Like, I forgot about that. That I'd like. Tropical Serenade better than that, but okay. Nope, wrong. Uh, then I would say. So wait, we got Hunter, Hunter Mansion, Mister Toad, and what's the third one? I'm, I'm trying to figure out what we're missing here. Did we do something twice? <laughs> the, oh, the McDonald's French fry cart. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> so Skyway, Skyway on there. Yeah, we can put Skyway yes. in there. Yeah, I'm, Skyway's not on there. Skyway. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's number one. It's it's in. Oh, so it is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Wait. Um, where, where did we? Ramprex Railroad. All right, go to the railroad. Didn't you count right? I, I'm just copying this list. I wrote down Jungle Cruise. Okay. Mad Tea Party. Got that. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh, my shooting gallery. I know where I messed up. Where'd you mess up? I never wrote down Mickey Mouse Review. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. God. That's Well, that's because we were, so, we were saving it for the time. It's number three. Yeah, we never found out. You're okay with that. Yeah. I'm okay with that. Look at me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like we talked about Jesus. it, but then we never put it on anything. <laughs> What's this weird business? You never put it. <laughs> and then yeah, Mr. No, Toad and the Honor Mansion. Yeah, and you then said Mr. Toad's, Toad's Wild Ride. No, no, no. Mr. Toad. Mr. Toad. <laughs> so no <Nope>. hell. <laughs> yeah, put hell. <laughs> was uh, was was this Mr. Toad a carbon copy of the Disneyland one? Yeah, but it had two ones. Really? Yeah, it was twice as well, like it's like so you're so you're racing like like Radiator Springs racers. Yeah, but you're racing to hell. You're on a highway to hell. So and real quick, played ACDC the whole ride. No, Jack, I'm letting you go. Oh, the, Josh said it. That's all I was gonna say. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, real quick, when I went to Disneyland, we rode uh, Mr. Toad's Wild Ride, and that was like. I was very much, you can ask Taylor. I was like, we're riding this ride no matter what we do. And we did. And Taylor was horrified of like all the Christian guilt and everything, like going through hell and seeing like devil. I was like, clapping my hands so gleeful. She's like, I'm in Disneyland and I'm in a ride going to hell. And then this that's insane. Insane. Like that that's wasn't it. even in the movie. It's so good. Like, it's just, you get, the ride could have been you get thrown in prison by the judge, but instead they're like, well, what if you get hit by a car and die and go to hell? 
So my favorite part about it is that the hell room is actually hot. And right yeah. next to the hell room is one of the rooms in the Alice in Wonderland ride. And it by default makes that room in Alice in Wonderland weirdly hot too. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> What I love about it overall is just that, like, like with Snow White Scary Adventures, you could say, like, yeah, so you die at the end. And someone's like, you die at the end? You're like, well, kind of, because she puts the boulder on you, right? You just have to imagine. So when someone said you go to hell, I'm like, oh, so I wonder if it's hot when you exit out. No, you enter caverns of fire and demons are pointing, like, sticks at you. And then the devil, like, points at you and then you leave the ride. I'm like, oh, cool. So I'm in hell. And the demons look weirdly a lot like they don't look like figment, but they were kind of written in that same font. They're close. Yeah. yeah. They're, they're, they're figment adjacent. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm, I got one pulled up right here. Yeah. Look yeah. at Tim. That's literally the shape of me. I call that thing purple. Figment. Okay. So here's our final list. Magic Kingdom opening day taxes. Number 20, the shooting gallery. Number 19, the churro cart, which may, may not even existed. <laughs> It was there. <laughs> like a hypothetical beat out the shooting gallery. <laughs> in the church. The church. No one invented it until the 90s. 18, Grand Prix Raceway. 17, Mike Fink Keel Boats. That's so hard to say. 16, Horseshoe Review. 15, Hollow Presidents. Way too high. 14, The Treehouse. 13, The Railroad. 12, The Carousel. 11, The Tea Party. 10, The Skyway. Uh, 9, The Elephant. 8, The Small World. Seven, the Snow White. Six, the Jungle Cruise. Five, the Singing Birds. Four, the Singing Bears. So, Singing Bears at our better, better, <laughs> better than Singing Birds. And uh, part three, oh, Singing Mice and every, everything else. Uh, two, Mr. Toad. And number one, the nice palatial mansion. With no cup. I will. I'm very happy with this list just because number three was a happy little accident. But again, I can't <laughs> stress this enough. There's an animatronic or something of King Louie playing the marimba. And that alone is top three material for me. Oh, I like this. So this nice. um, when I flew out here on, what was it, Thursday? I. Going to a uh, Orange County Airport and went to Disney Sprint or Downtown Disney. Fuck, mm-hmm. <laughs> I got I got the the pumpkin spice churro. Oh, was it good? It was delicious, but it was just a churro with nutmeg. Yeah, that's pumpkin spice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. What? So what's the problem? Nothing, nothing. It just I paid an extra dollar just to get nutmeg on it. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Well done. I I do the same. I love pumpkin spice. Oh, yeah. It was delicious. So, anyway, uh, that's our show. Josh, thanks for joining us. I guess you did. (laughs) (laughs) And you sound good this time. Well, I I hooked up to the hotel Wi-Fi, and the hotel's not busy, so that probably helps. Yes. So, guys, real quick... This is our last episode in September, which means our next episode is Mickey Mutilators. Oh, it's fun. Well, our next two episodes. Uh, Ryan, when are you going to Horror Nights? Uh, <laughs> that's actually uh, a sore subject. Uh, I'm supposed to be going next week, but we will see when I go. I don't like how up in the air this is. Uh, our tickets, basically, we just basically were told it was sold out and our tickets didn't get registered. Oh. So we may have to go. I mean, we'll have to go a different day in order to do Express Pass. And as you know, with Halloween Horror Nights, you have to do Express Pass or you can't do everything. Oh, you can. You just want to die at the end of the night. Well, I want to die at the end of the night with Express Pass. So I'm not ready to see what kind of death I'm wishing on myself if I don't. <laughs> it's off. I mean, that's like normal nights for me. Horror nights are just wanting to die. Yes. So stay tuned next episode for <laughs> Mickey Mutilators. <laughs> hey, you've been listening to or watching the Mickey Mutineers and you've enjoyed us. Psst.